everybody, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to uh, welcome you guys here and uh, I want to uh, read a little bit of this uh, scripture with you and these verses hit home with me and I hope they help you too. Uh, um, we are in 1 John 2 and we're going to be reading uh, 1 John 2, 12 through 17. So I write to you little children because your sins are forgiven. You for his name's sake. I write to you fathers because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you young men. Because you have overcome the wicked one. I write to you, little children, because you have known the Father. Verse 14 goes like this. I have written to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. And I have written to you, young men, because you are strong and the word of God abides in you and you have overcome the wicked one. So verse 15 through 17, do not love the world. It goes like this. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. Amen. And the world is passing away and the lust of it. But he who does the will of God abides forever. So, doing the will of God and finding out what that means, right? We're going to dig into God's word. I can't explain to you today uh, in such a short time, in such a short video, uh, what it means uh, to me. And in my experience, but I would love uh, for you guys to share your experience. And today is my very first day off uh, in, in a little while. We've been busy doing something almost every single day, either uh, uh, out in the field or uh, in sales or, you know, we're going out uh, across country here in Minnesota to pick up a work truck one night. We work till eight, nine o'clock and a couple other nights we work pretty late too. And then we work Saturday and Sunday and I volunteered uh this weekend to um and you guys wow i'm blessed and and when i get a chance to and i had to go to i had to make i had to run errands so what does that prove life gets hectic and and it is i'm, I'm aware of that and so i am very aware of that and uh, i also know how to step back and take a look at my recovery and say well is it being affected by this busyness well not so much uh my 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 recovery is good i feel good my relationship with god is strong He's showing me the way and the will for me is to keep going and to push hard, have courage and spread hope. I'll share something with you before I let you go. My son shared something with me today uh, earlier and he was saying um, that um, he, he, he found out that this YouTube guy that he knows uh, was basically exploiting people and exploiting their problems. He would say that he wants to help them, but then he'd find out their problem and then he would, he would, he would, uh, you know, exploit that person because of the problem and, uh, while offering help. And, and I said, and he goes, well, and, and he, in that person in that channel is doing all that for views. Right. And he asked me, he asked me a serious question. He said, dad, what's, what's the difference? He kind of knew the answer, but he said, what's the difference between you and this other guy? You, you know, you're, 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 you're going on and asking people for their problems, telling them that you have a solution to their problem. God, right? And I go, well, and, and I go, well, we're kind of doing the opposite. We're, we're asking them people to, to not necessarily tell us their problems, but to give their problems and their cares and their ills and their concerns to God. Right. We're asking them to go directly to God. But we're just saying in the in the in the in the in in the in between. Right. In the in the current in the present, I'm here to, to offer other things that are like hope and, and encouragement and um, and ways to persevere while trying to live sober. Right. And, and fun, connecting with God and doing fun things uh, in order to, to succeed in this life of ours. And to find some reason, some hope, and some purpose. And now we know that our relationship with God and with Jesus is our numero uno. That's number one, right? That's what we should be focused on. And so apart from that, we have things to take care of and things to do. And that's what we're talking about, God's will. So we need to be aware of what God's will is for us and what that means. And for me, it means being obedient. It means being sober. It means persevering. It means being hopeful, being positive, and knowing that there is always people, situations, uh, and things that you're aware of that might try to bring you down. And don't let it happen. Get into God's Word. Read 1 John 2, 12 through 17, and we're gonna learn a little bit about what we don't want to do. We don't want to conform to that world. So I get excited. I told myself I was going to try and be calm in this message. Calm, but there is no such thing. <laughs> there is no such thing. So let's put the week to bed. Today is the start of a new week. It is a holiday, so uh, I am home with the kids today, spending some much loving time with them. And uh, 
hoping that you're doing the same. I, I cut last night. I, I got up yesterday really early and uh, I was up really late and I uh, had so much stuff going on and, and this provided some some therapy, you guys. I, I ended up cutting a bunch more rocks. Um, I'll show you real quick before I let you go. I ended up cutting a bunch more rocks. Um, this is probably one of my favorites now. Uh, I got a couple of those, but all right, you guys. Oh boy. All right. God bless you guys. I might cut that out. I might not. God bless you guys. And remember that, you know, God is there for us and we just need to reach out to him. He's not, he's not, he's not expecting us, uh, um, to, you know, to go through life and expecting him to knock on our door all the time. We got to knock on his door, right? Be encouraged. Be hopeful. I love you. God bless you.